All right. So I know metaverse is kind of a buzzword right now. Everyone are talking about it. Everyone are trying to get their hands dirty, you know, experiencing what metaverse is. But not many platforms are there out in the market where you can actually develop some kind of applications on, you know, metaverse. No one owns metaverse. You can actually develop your own metaverse, let people join in them, you know, let let people move from one metaverse to another metaverse. So to simplify things, um, there is this platform called Croquet, Croquet, not sure what it's called, but I'm going to call it as Croquet, Croquet.io. So what it does is it basically wraps up an existing JavaScript library called 3.js with its own uh, library and uh, lets users develop three-dimensional objects and add behaviors to it and make it available from web. You know, um, when it's available from web, it's, it's technically available from any digital device. So the sweet part here is it's actually developed on JavaScript. So it runs on a uh, client side. So there is no server side scripting required for this. And uh, yeah, um, I'm going to show you a couple of examples that I've seen and how we can interact with uh, uh, applications which are built on top of Croquet OS. So let's go into this um, code pen page where there is a simple you know, microverse. I assume this is a microverse. There are a bunch of balls and you want people to join into this microverse and play with these balls. Okay. If you see in the QR code, under the QR code, there is only just one user, okay? And I'm gonna let an other users to join in, into this space. So I'm, I'm using my phone right now to scan this QR code and join into uh, this, this microverse. So right now I, I have my phone uh, also logged in. That's the reason why you actually see here two users. So um, I can actually move things right now from my phone and vice versa. So let's just say uh, the big giant ball is what i'm trying to move so if you see i'm actually moving it my mo moving it from my mobile phone and it's actually reflecting in all in both the devices similarly i can move this and it's actually reflecting on my phone so i just realized it's it's not crossing a boundary here probably because the end of this boundary is actually the end screen on my phone that's sweet so yeah you can you can add as many number of people to this space and you know interact with them. This is a very very simple application. Uh, I don't see any like utility with this, but uh, you can add more behaviors. You can add uh, conditions. What a typical user can do as such. Like I mean, you can see this as a hello world application if you want to develop something in you know um, you know metaverse. Um, I can only call this microverse because uh, Croquet calls applications like this as microverse because they allow, uh, they have this concept called uh, um, multi-plane portals where, you know, uh, I haven't tested this yet, but the demo, the demo video says, okay, these microverses are smaller versions of uh, metaverse where from a, from a web construct, these uh, microverses are placed on a typical web page as an iframe. Let's just, uh, let's just assume there are two different iframes and you can let uh, uh, users from one iframe transition to another iframe, um, uh, just like that. So you don't need any heavy, you know, heavy computation for, for, for this kind of functionality. This, I, I, found it, uh, this, I found this feature very, very, very neat. You know, um, I always thought, you know, if you, if you have to develop anything uh, metaverse related, you need a heavy computational power. JavaScript is awesome. You know, it made things very simple. Um, I've, I've, I think I haven't mentioned, uh, mentioned it before, uh, Croquet is actually built on top of 3.js. 3.js is a JavaScript library where you can actually, actually create a three dimensional objects, uh, to put it, uh, to put it in, in the context, 3.js is kind of a static, uh, static, uh, a library, meaning you can actually create a uh, three dimensional spaces. Like I'll show you this example, you know, uh, where is it? Yeah. Like you no, know, this Renault uh, vehicle here is like a static page. You can you can move this, but there aren't any uh, three um, uh, user behaviors that you can actually apply into it, which is which is what Croquet does. Croquet actually makes us join into this three-dimensional space and do some kind of um, changes and you know make some behaviors here. I'll show you a simple example here, and I think I've already shown this. So this three-dimensional space is an example where you can join into it and make changes and do some kind of behaviors into these spaces. 
there are couple of examples i like this very very much because you know this is kind of you know an ideal ideal uh use case for uh someone who's selling furniture if you see i can actually move within this room change the colors of this room and you know i can actually put some kind of metadata here so imagine the same three dimensional space where you let people to join into it and make changes uh in real time and that is what exactly crocket does um what else i have to cover yeah crocket has put together a very nice documentation in terms of how you can get started and what are what are uh, what are all the basic components you need and how you can you know get started and how you can actually develop applications this framework and if you are someone who have already developed anything along the lines of crocket.io comment in the uh, comment section and if you want to collab with me to develop any any use case using crocket.io uh, feel free to uh, uh, dm me uh, happy to collaborate and come up with good uh, microverse or metaverse application i hope you found this video helpful uh, if you do please consider subscribing my channel i'll make more videos like this uh, i'll see you in next video until then keep learning